Hey everybody, Greg Tusi coming to you live from Indianapolis. We're here at FDIC and I want to take you around this Crestline CCLP 150 Type 1 150 inch modular. This is our new value proposition for the U.S. out of the Demers Braun Crestline family. And you can see we're on an F350 Ford here, four wheel drive. We've got some grill lights. We've got seven across the front. We also have added an auxiliary condenser for the air conditioner on this unit, just in case it's going to go to a warmer climate, give you a little bit more throughput on your air conditioning, keep it colder for you. We start out at the chassis, pretty typical Ford configuration. We've tried to minimize our impact by putting a nice stream, uh, slimline console down the center. We've got good old tactile switches and buttons for you. Albeit, uh, you know, some of our products have the big touch screens. We found that for the value proposition and ease of use, the uh, smart switches work really well with our Pran electrical system to keep the ambulance and all the features and benefits working fine. And we've given you some room here for your radios toward the back. And again, we left as much room of the Ford chassis as we could so it's spacious for your providers while they're working the streets. Coming out, you can look down at this really well-built, durable sidestep to get in and out of the truck. It's got a self-cleaning option to it that it keeps all the snow and ice out in the winter, but gives you a good basis for getting in and out of the truck without having to overstretch your legs. The modular box is a combination of extrusions and rolled sheet. Uh, we, we fabricate everything in-house in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And this truck, you can see, has kind of a molded, rounded look to it. That's kind of the signature of Crestline for all the years they've been building. As we come down around through, the drip rail is incorporated right into the manufacturer of the truck. You can see we've got some stone guards down low here, keep all of the paint really nice. And while we're talking about paint, even though it's our value line proposition, this paint is powder coated, lifetime warranty this paint will hold up for remount after remount for years and years of service, solid. <clears throat> As we come into the S1 or the oxygen compartment, pretty straightforward. You notice there's a lot more inserts there. That's so that we have all the configurations available. We can just pop something in or out. This unit's very modular on the options that are available. We've got access points for all your maintenance needs to keep it up on the street uh, and very similar uh, to most trucks, gas struts, the uh, Trimark handles for opening and closing the compartment doors. As we step back into the second compartment, you got a lot of storage space here. <laughs> and I just pulled the plug. You got a lot of storage space. <laughs> Behind this panel, we, we keep our electrical system outside of the vehicle, so service techs don't have to get into the medical equipment. Medical people don't have to get into the service side of the house. We've given a switch for the shoreline, but behind here you're going to find the modules for the Pran Electrical, which is basically non-moving parts, solid-state electronics. Works very well for us. Your inverter and suction uh, pumps are back behind here for ease of access, and then you've got some nice storage right inside of the truck. All of the specifications, the uh, stock numbers, wiring diagrams, easy access for the service technicians. Anybody needs any help with it. We have our diesel emission fluid, we've got our fuel fill, nice lights over top of the wheel hubs, rubber uh, wheel rails as most people like because you don't have to worry about dinging them up so much. Get into the, car, the uh, street side number three cabinet in the back. This can be an inside outside access. We chose to put a panel here to keep everything outside. So this is typically where a fire department would store all of their fire gear and stuff to keep the carcinogen separate and hazardous materials. Fire extinguishers, again, every cabinet compartment has illumination. If I wouldn't have pulled the plug out, they would still be lit up. Coming around to the back of the truck, even though we have those nice four inch radius corners up on the sides and the front, on the back we took a straight up approach. So we have a nice high profile to be able to put some of the bigger lights over the doors. You notice that we carried over a signature from our Demers brand. We have the flush mount windows on the crest line. So we have that beautiful, nice, smooth, you can put all of your uh, graphics right over top of it. Gives you a nice big view from the inside. And best of all, they don't leak. Good firm step bumper, built so that it can slide under the box. Should you get into a collision, somebody hits you from behind, you don't have to worry about damaging your box. The bumper will slide underneath. Most cases can just be reset, but if it has to be replaced, it's only a few component parts, rather than having to replace the whole back of the truck. 
LEDs all around are standard. Uh, we got a backup camera over the doors. Of course, our big CPI grab holders to keep the doors open when you're loading and unloading patients. Coming around on the curbside, we've got our, our number three compartment here on the curbside. And this is set up with long backboard storage. We've got some immobilization shelves that you can put some pieces up there. And then your stair chair fits right into the side. So we don't have to worry about impeding into the patient compartment. We've got enough depth to put the stair chair right in here. One thing I didn't mention before, but it's on all of the exterior doors, we've got dual door seals. This helps to keep all the moisture, grit, and grime out of the compartments, keep everything clean and ready for use. You don't have to worry about taking them to the car wash and power cleaning them after a run. All the cabinets and compartments exhaust the air into the inside of the cabinet. So again, we're not pulling the air from outside when we're shutting the doors. That's why we can allow them to close. Last exterior compartment, but not least, is our, our curbside number one. This is kind of our action compartment where you'll put your first due bags or boxes, your oxygen, whatever you're going to need to run into the residence or get to the patient quickly. And then below we have some battery storage for just the module in the back here. So let's climb inside here. <clears throat> All of the CCL products are designed and engineered to meet Triple K. CAS GVS 2.0. So everything you see here is pretty standard configuration, all aluminum contact surfaces, all aluminum construction. So we've got very secure cabinetry. On our doors, we've got the positive latching mechanism to meet the new Triple K Change Notice 10 and GVS. But we also allow for a quick clean out by just pulling up on the latch. And you can now restock and clean the cabinets all with uh, easy access without banging your knuckles off the doors. <clears throat> We've got a child seat built into the EVS seat. And as we sit here and look, we've got two different locations. We've got oxygen storage for D cylinders, E cylinders on the door. But again, keeping in mind, we want to have a value product. We've also pre-built back here behind the rear facing attendant seat that we can relocate those O2 cylinders right here on the wall. Same positive latching mechanisms on the inside of the truck. Medical that can also be locking for drug cabinet up top. Six point harnesses all around on the squad benches. Of course, on the regular seating automotive seat, you only need the three point harness here. We have a great tested uh, cargo net here. Should you happen to be in an unfortunate situation, at least we can keep you in the bench seat and not have to worry about you going into the front cabinet. We've got sharps and waist right at the head of the squad bench where you're primarily providing patient care so you don't have to get up. You can drop everything in there. Slides closed. Oxygen outlets on both sides of the truck. 110, 12 volt, everywhere you should need it. And I want to bring you back over to the action area. What we've done here Normally, the action area in a normal ambulance would terminate here. We've extended it back, moved the CPR seat or the street side seating position back. So now you're even across with the patient's pelvis, be able to provide the best care just from that seat without having to jump back and forth. So if you happen to be in an ALS, BLS rendezvous situation, you can access both sides of the patient with providers or a critical call. You got providers on both sides, easy access to IVs and everything else you need to do. Our switch panel, again, very simple, just like the front of the truck, tactile switches. Our air conditioning is, is the only digital part in here and it's set the temperature up and down. It'll either blow heat or cold, depending on the demands of the temperature setting at the time, our oxygen area. And by moving this back, we've now created a solid surface where we can mount the Tecna mounts or any of the new monitor mounts, your life packs, your uh, Zoles, everything can fit right in here for patient monitoring with access for power right away, oxygen, everything in this area needed to provide care. As I mentioned, the rear compartments can be inside outside storage. On this one, we decided to do just the inside, uh, but we can pass those through. We've got a ducted HVAC along the street side up top here. So we've got the return, the evaporator behind the wall, and all of these outlets are tubed to blow the same amount of air front to back. Perco clips for IVs, keep it simple on both sides of the truck. A patient compartment camera is an option if needed, and our digital clock so that we can keep track of what's going on. You notice all the yellow grab rails. Everything in here, just like the outside, is powder coated. 
and we put a, a material on there to cut down on germs and bacteria growth. Uh, this CCL line has some of the most spacious compartments inside and out. And for a value proposition, this uh, all-wheel drive type one ambulance sits ready to go for about $150,000. So hope you come and see us at FDIC. It's really great to be back together with so many of our friends and our dealer partners. Thanks for tuning in.